Hello everyone, and uh, thank you for tuning in, as it were. I wanted to spend just a few minutes talking about place value in maths and how we can work together to support your children with their learning. Now place value, for those that are unfamiliar with the term, simply means the numerical value of every digit within a number. For example, in the number 14, the numerical value of this isn't 1, it's actually 10. The numerical value of this in our ones column is 4, and we can represent that with four little tokens here. Similarly, if we no longer have the number 14 and we have the number 34, the 3 doesn't represent a 3, it actually represents 30, and we can show that with three tokens here. Now, we don't just use tokens, it's good to conceptualize and visualize numbers in all of its forms in loads of different ways. So here's another resource. I've got page 10. I'm hoping you can see now how 34 is represented with this resource. I'm very lucky at school with the children because I get all of these fancy things to play with. And, and uh, you know, I'd be, I'd be pushing it if I was to assume that you had these at home. So what we're trying to work with the children alongside using the resources is to actually draw them too. So very simply, I can represent 34 oh, like this. Now I hope that's really simple, and what I would really like you to do is go away, write some more two-digit numbers, and see if you can represent them with whatever you can find. Now you might want to draw it, you might have um, sticks and pebbles, you might have, you can even use food. Um, Lego is a good one as well, some of the bigger blocks representing tens, some of the smaller ones representing ones. But sometimes it helps to just remind ourselves of the columns, tens and ones. That's wonderful. I appreciate that the quality of this video is quite, quite low. Hopefully they'll improve as time goes by. But if this is what we're doing at school, it'd be really lovely if you could support your children by doing this at home too. If they're really getting the hang of this, we can push a little higher and go into our hundreds column. So, as I'm sure you can imagine, the one in this number isn't the number one. It's actually the number 100. So you can see from this, the 134 can be represented with one 100, three tens, and four ones, indicated by the initials at the top. Have fun with that. Take some pictures. Let me know how you're getting on. And if you need help with it, please, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much.